Welcome to Castle Country Cooking. I'm Shannon Hugely. Today we're in the kitchen with Christy Wilson, who is here representing Supa. Hi. Hi. We are so happy to have you. Oh, just thrilled to be here. So, Christy, Supa is the Southeastern Utah Energy Producers Association. Yes. And they are a group that promotes awareness of the energy industry. Mm -hmm. And a couple times a year, Supa holds events. And yeah, we we do um, what in the first of the year, the end of the year, we do uh, the banquet, mm -hmm. the Supa banquet. And um, on the 4th of July, we do energy days, which is free to the public. Everything we have there is free to the public. Mm -hmm. Free hot dogs, free games, bounce houses, coal shoveling contests. Um, Lots of fun stuff yes. at the Carbon County Fairgrounds for mm -hmm. Energy Days on the 4th of July. And it starts at what time? It starts at 5 o'clock. This year it's changing up a bit. Uh, there will be a 4th of July parade on Main Street at 3 o'clock. And then from there you can come on over to the fairgrounds and all the events will start at 5 o'clock over there. Okay, perfect. And we should mention too that Carbon County partners with SUPA for Energy Days. Yes, and that's, absolutely. That's one of the ways everything is able to be free for everyone that mm -hmm. participates. The Carbon County and uh, all of our sponsors. Yes, lots Can't of forget wonderful sponsors. No, lots of wonderful sponsors that help make Energy Days possible. Absolutely. So that we are making in um, lieu of the 4th of July and Energy Days, a red, white, and blue salad, fruit salad, mm -hmm. and um, also a red, white, and blue lasagna, no bake dessert lasagna. So it sounds weird. It's just called lasagna because it's layered, I think. So no noodles. No, no, no noodles, <laughs> no sauce. Um, but it's red, white, and blue. I think we all think about food for the 4th of July, barbecues, it's summertime, and what do we take to a potluck that's different? So both of these things are a little bit different. And Great. Yeah. Let's, and let's do it. And fruit is in season. So I'm going to start with a block of cream cheese and I'm going to put it in the mixer. And while I do that, will you start slicing up bananas? And you can just put them in this bowl after you get them sliced. All right. And then you're going to put some cut a lemon in half and just squeeze it over the banana. And we'll do four bananas. And I'll beat this cream cheese. It's going to be a little bit noisy. Okay, my cream cheese was room temperature when I started, so it's pretty nice and soft already. And to that, while you, while you keep slicing fruit, I'm going to add a package of cheesecake flavored instant pudding. Perfect. Have you ever used this? I do. I use it for a fruit salad that I make. Oh, nice. Yeah, I like it. So what do you put in your fruit salad? Um, bananas, apples, strawberries, grapes. I did see a red, white, and blue fruit salad when I was looking for recipes for this show mm -hmm. that had apples as the white fruit, and it looked really good. I like apples in salad. It gives it that crispy. Yeah, it does. And I just like apples. Me too. Okay, I added that pudding right, just dry, right into the cream cheese. That's nice and beat up now. Oops. I whipped up. Banana on the floor. <laughs> That's all right, it won't be the first one. Okay, so this is the first year that there's a, that Carbon County has ever done a 4th of July parade. Well, I don't know about ever, but in a really long time. In a really since long I time. I can never remember. Mm -hmm. um, 
because Huntington does one, and Carbon County hasn't wanted to compete right. with the 4th of July parade over there. And I've attended the one over there. It's super fun. So this year, the timing works out so that if you wanted to, you could attend both. You can. Um, Huntington's is in the morning. Ours is in the afternoon. Um, Megan Marshall mm -hmm. is putting together, whoops, sorry. She is putting together the parade. So I don't know exactly everything that's going mm -hmm. on with it, but. But it's at 3 o'clock on, on Main Street. It's at 3 o'clock on Main Street. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then this year, just to be a little bit different, um, because not everybody, the, the line for the hot dogs is really long. So this year, um, I do have a food vendor coming in. It will be the only thing that will be charged. Um, so it's, um, it's Heather Cloward, mm -hmm. and I, it's Smoke. called, they do smoked, uh, food. It's smoked food. Their, her thing is called what smoking or what you smoking or something mm -hmm. like that. So, um, but they're really good. They always, they're always at first Fridays. So, and everybody loves their food. So I got a hold of her and asked her. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to add to this cream cheese mixture instead of cream and you could use plain heavy whipping cream if you wanted to but I'm going to use this French vanilla coffee creamer mm -hmm. just to add a little more flavor and I'm adding a cup of it but I'm only going to add it about a tablespoon at a time if you dump the whole thing in here you're going to make a mess it will it will get clumpy mm -hmm. and it will never you'll never like beat the clumps out I don't know why that happens but it does, and we don't want that to happen. We want this to be smooth. So I'm just gonna go a tiny bit at a time. And how many strawberries? Um, probably about an equal amount to the bananas. Okay. A couple of cups, probably. This is making a mess. <laughs> also this year at Energy Days, for the coal shoveling contest, we are having, I'm trying to get a hold of all of them, and I've gotten a hold of quite a few. The first responders will be competing against each other on the coal shoveling contest. And I think that sounds really fun. I agree. That'll be a really fun contest to watch. Really competitive. Really competitive. So we have the sheriff's department, or the sheriff's office, and the highway patrol, and oh, Price crap. City so far. Yeah. Um, I'm still trying to get a hold of the ambulance and uh, firefighters. And I thought that would be a really fun day. Yeah, I See think that would be really fun. Shovel the quickest out of all of them. Because you, you're right, you do have a lot of competitive people in those departments. Okay. I'm just going to scrape this down before I add the rest of that. And then after that, it is the public, whoever in the public wants to come and shovel coal and see if they can win $500. Yeah, there's great cash prizes at all of these contests this year. To enter the contests are free, but you get cash prizes if you win. There's a lot of stuff for kids, too. There's a cupcake eating contest for the kids. Right. Um, a hot dog eating contest for, is, is there an age limit on that? Can kids participate in that? Um, I would say that would be 12 and up. Okay. We don't want anyone choking. Right. And then we have a pie eating contest. And great prizes for those too. Yeah, everything has really good prizes. Everything. There'll be some energy trivia. The Jeff Kill Band will be there. Absolutely. Come out and hear the Jeff Kill Band. And then, of course, the every year, the bouncy houses. Is there a foam pit for the there kids? There is a foam pit, and this year, the we have slides. Zorb balls. Uh-huh, the slides. And this year is the Zorb balls. Um, I've seen those in... What is that? I've seen them in, I want to say, Springville. 
uh -huh. or Spanish Fork a couple years ago. It's uh, they actually climb inside a ball and then they fill the ball oh. up with air and then okay. they can walk on yes. water. My nephew had the That's best time in that. I couldn't fun. get him to leave it. So where are they going to do on the water? Are they just going to do? They bring it? their own. Oh, they do. They, they okay. bring their own thing to fill to put the water in. Okay, like so, a, mm -hmm. awesome. Well, I think it's worth going just to see that. I, I know, right? Doesn't that sound fun? <laughs> yes. And then um, Jetman Digicade, if anybody's heard of that, they were opened up. They just opened up in business. Wellington. Yes. And now they've moved to Price, and they are uh, right next door to Love Floral and Southeast Paint. And um, they are coming, and they're doing their virtual reality for um, kids 8, and 8 to 12 for free on uh, Energy Days. So it, lots of events, lots of fun things going yeah. on. And horseshoe. Oh Michelle yes. Michelle Bad Back Row. Don't Everyone forget about that. Row. Yep. She will be doing a horseshoe tournament. So come out for the horseshoe tournament. I gotta turn this down. And then to end the night, of course, there's always your fireworks. Yes, fabulous fireworks display. Mm -hmm. Lots of fun. All right, there's the end of that. And then you've got all your fruit mixed in there with a little bit of lemon juice. Yep. And we're just going to fold this into it. And it looks really good just like this. It does. I could just eat yeah, it like this. <laughs> I agree. And this comes together super quick. I We've been like 10 minutes working on this, and we're pretty much done. You can, if you were going to... Um, do this ahead of time. I wouldn't cut up the bananas until you were ready, but you could have everything. You could have your pudding mix ready. Just go ahead and pour that on there, and then you can gently toss it together, just fold it in. Um, I would keep everything separate in your fridge, like if you wanted to get it ready the night before, you could cut up mm -hmm. your strawberries and, um, and, then add the bananas and make your and pudding this. mix, and then in the morning I would put it all together right before you get ready to go. Right. Bananas are tricky. I usually don't ever put bananas in anything I take anywhere because I don't want them to turn brown. Absolutely. They go brown and mushy mm -hmm. and they're just, yeah. But if you're going to, sometimes I will just add them as I'm go getting ready to serve. Mm -hmm. So. That looks really good. It does look fabulous. So then I, you can chill it for an hour or two before you leave or you can serve it right away I okay. guess and that is your red white and blue fruit salad we're gonna go to a break and when we come back we're going to make that layered red white and blue lasagna no bake interesting to find out <laughs>